You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Joining us right now is Congresswoman Karen Bass of California, <laughs> chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Congresswoman Bass, get glad to have you on the show. You're from a state that is on lockdown, some 40 million people. Uh, That's you right. have uh, more states uh, that are actually uh, shutting things down. You have counties. You have Mecklenburg County in North Carolina, the largest county in that state, uh, ordered a shelter in place. You've got Harris County uh, in the largest county in Texas. You've got Dallas County. Uh, it seems as if you have these governors and county and city leaders who recognize that you have that you have a rudderless operation from the White House. And you've got Donald Trump, who's over there talking today about, hey, let's have all the churches packed by Easter because it's a special day to me. And he's acting as, and he literally has said, uh -huh. we're almost, he said in his news conference that we're almost at the end of Hello? this battle. What, what, the, what the hell is he talking about? Uh, Roland, I don't. Congresswoman, do you hear me? Uh, you were going in and out. So okay. I All right. I, I, I'm trying to understand. This guy is up. Trump is up and talking about we're almost at the end of this battle. What the hell right. is he well, talking I, about? I, th I mean, I think that we know, first of all, well, I mean, he's talking nonsense like he has from the beginning. He has no understanding of science. We know that uh, through many other things he said in his policies. He refuses to accept that this is a serious problem. Remember, a few weeks ago, it was a Democratic Party hoax to go after him and to destroy his presidency. So he is, it is impossible for him, and we've experienced this over three and a half years, so it really shouldn't be new. It's impossible for him to see the world outside of his own self. And he's thinking about his reelection and how this virus is destroying his economy. Not the fact that over 45,000 people have been infected and a couple of hundred people have died. That is not his concern. Remember, he didn't want the ship to dock because he didn't want his numbers to be messed up. So I don't think that, that it should be surprising the stance he's taking. Now, what has happened in our country, though, is that the governors, the mayors, the county executives, just have, as you have uh, described, they have stepped up. They are the ones that are leading. So there is no national coherent leadership. There is only leadership from the states, the counties, and the cities. Now, we're fortunate on the House side because to the extent that there is national leadership, it's coming from Speaker Pelosi. It is not coming from the Senate side at all, and it's not coming from the Republicans. So right now, we're waiting to see what's in the Senate bill, but we already know that it's going to be a huge bailout for major corporations, and we're not sure how it's going to help working people. Um, when we And so you have Republicans who are very angry at Democrats, saying that uh, Democrats are trying to load this bill up uh, with all sorts of things. And uh, frankly, they've been quite indignant on the Senate floor, uh, saying that this needs to be passed right now. Well, we are trying to load it up. We're trying to load it up with benefits and policies to help working people. I mean, they want to give everybody a check, which is fine. Give me a check. But if I'm unemployed, what does that check do? That check pays a couple of bills, and then afterwards, I'm homeless. So we're talking about doing a variety of things. We're talking about giving money to community health centers. We're talking about making sure that unemployment insurance extends to, uh, to people for longer periods of time and at higher amounts. We're talking about grants to community-based organizations. We are looking out for folks who are not the millionaires and billionaires. And I do have to say that we know that even some senators were able to, it appears now, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, why did they sell their stocks, you know? So uh, for us, it is not just about the 1%, but it is about the American people. We have to worry about our historically black colleges and universities. We have to worry about the students that don't have any place to go when the dorms close. Those are the issues we're worried about. So if the senators are the Republicans want to accuse us of loading the bill up, they're correct. But we're loading it up for working people and working families. Uh, you talked about um, uh, you talked about uh, HBCUs. Uh, I believe the Thurgood Marshall Fund 
I saw a press release uh, just a couple of days ago, actually it was yesterday, and I think that what they, uh, matter of fact, here it is, uh, they're asking Congress to allocate uh, $1.5 billion in emergency Title III and Title V funding uh, to assist HBCUs as well as uh, minority-serving institutions. Uh, they say, quote, the language unveiled in the Senate bill last week includes some helpful regulatory and payment relief for institutions, but simply does not do enough to provide financial relief for schools. Well, we were calling for a much higher amount than that. We were calling, and the we I'm referring to is the Congressional Black Caucus. So we have our own proposals that we're putting forward. And I'll make sure that you have those proposals, okay, Roland? Okay. Because here's the reality. We are going to wind up voting on a Senate bill, and it is going to be very deficient. But what we do know is that there's going to be one, if not two, more bills after this. And here's where we would really like to ask for your help, because all of the civil rights organizations, the faith-based community, all the sectors of our community coming together with a proposal that we're all fighting for. But we want to start fighting for it now. We don't want to fight for it while the package is being written. Now, of course, we're going to push to get everything we can in this bill. But I want us to view it from two levels. One, fight for today, but also fight for next week. So I would love to get your help in that. Uh, we certainly uh, do all the help that we can, we can give. And so certainly let us know. Uh, and, we, you know, look, we, we're focused on this. We, we're live every single day uh, trying to give the information to our folks. Uh, because, frankly, I mean, look, I swear if you look at cable television, you don't think there are any black experts on any of these topics. Uh, right. so that's, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about doctors and infectious disease experts. I'm, I'm so we've been having them every single day because we got to make sure our people and look. A lot of our people are also dying. And so I'm going to be talking about a little bit later, uh, you know, prominent African-Americans, a guy helping the college at Texas A&M with who played basketball. I mean, many of us are dying. So these people who out here saying black people are not getting coronavirus are absolutely idiots. And New Orleans is really being devastated by this. We'll be talking yes. to a doctor about that a little bit later as well. Right. That's right. All right, Congresswoman, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, All right. Back to that with my unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, so a lot of y'all always asking me about terms, some of the pocket squares that I wear. Now, I don't know. Robert don't have one on. Nope. Now, I don't particularly like the white pocket squares. I don't like even the silk ones. And so I was reading GQ magazine a number of years ago, and I saw uh, this guy who had this, this pocket square here, and it looks like a flower. Uh, this is called a shibori pocket square. This is how the Japanese manipulate the fabric to create this sort of flower effect. So I'm going to take it out and then place it in my hand so you see what it looks like. And I said, man, this is pretty cool. And so I tracked down, the. it took me a year to find a company that did it. Uh, and so uh, they make these about 47 different colors. And so I love them because, again, as men, we don't have many accessories to wear. So we don't have many options. Uh, and so this is really a pretty cool uh, pocket square. Now what I love about this here is you saw uh, when it's uh, in, in the pocket, you know, it gives you that flower effect like that but if I wanted to also unlike other because if I flip it and turn it over it actually gives me a different type of texture and so therefore it gives me a different look so there you go so uh, if you actually want to uh, get one of these shibori pocket squares we have them in 47 different colors all you got to do is go to rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all right so first of all that graphic is way too small so uh, tomorrow we're going to run it right down here all across the screen so it's rollingthismartin.com forward slash pocket squares all you got to do is go to my website uh, and you can actually uh, get this now for those of you who are members of our bring the funk fan club there's a discount for you to get our pocket squares. That's why you also got to be a part of our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, and so that's what we want you to do. And so it's pretty cool. So if you want to jazz your look up, you can do that. In addition, uh, y'all seen me with some of the feather pocket squares. My sister who is a designer. She actually makes these. They're all custom made. So when you also go to the website, you can also order one of the customized uh, feather pocket squares uh, right there at rollingsmartin.com forward slash pocket squares. So please do so. And of course, uh, at goes to support the show and again if you're a bring the funk fan club member you get a discount this is why you should join the fan club now back to your roland martin unfiltered video if you want to check out roland martin unfiltered youtube.com forward slash roland s martin and subscribe to our youtube channel there's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real it's roland martin unfiltered see that name right there Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. 
And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it. <laughs>